welcome to Jay Shui's Kitchen and uh, today I'm going to show you vegetarian tofu dumplings. Uh, so my ingredients are, I am uh, already sorting the onion which was one cup which will take three to four minutes to saute because I want all the flavors to come out. I have a one cup of cabbage and I have a half a cup of tofu and this is a chopped cabbage. I did it in chopper and I did I did chop my onion in the chopper too, green onions. And I'm doing one cup of um, mushroom, which are white mushrooms, so, which I use. And I really found a healthy wrapper. This is na soya veggie uh, wrapper and there is no oil inside and really it's made from whole wheat flour. And I'm using one tablespoon of um, jalapenos and I'm using one tablespoon of chili garlic paste which looks like this. You can just buy it at my or any grocery stores. And I'm using soya sauce. Soya sauce is uh, two tablespoons and I'm using low sodium one. So these are the ingredients. And you can use a little bit salt to the test if you need to use a little salt. So my, my onions are done, the salt went. Uh, I did it for three to four minutes. I started before I started my video. So I'm putting now a mushroom. And a mushroom and onion together. I'm going to saute at least five more minutes because the uh, mushroom might uh, be a little watery, you know. So I want all the water to go away. So I would say approximately five minutes I will saute it. So really, I think uh, while it's sorting, I can talk about this wrapper. This wrapper is from Nasoya. I was looking for a healthy wrapper. My family loves uh, dumplings. So I, we are eating for so many years in our place. And I was buying before, you know, the white wrapper long, long time back. And when I found this wrapper, I fall in love with this wrapper because it's so healthy. So the whole recipe is really, is going to be completely healthy now. So, um, let's see. really I am using this this is a bamboo thing to make dumpling but uh, you really if you don't have this uh, you can use your steamer I did not have it either so I used to make it in steamer before so this is the steamer you can just I'm sure everybody has a steamer right so you can just put in the steamer or if you have instant pot and you want to make an instant pot you can just really, I think this one I already tried, it fits on 3 quarts, 6 quarts, 9 quarts, it can fit in any, any instant pot really. And uh, this is a calendar in the instant pot, if you want to make it in this, that's fine. Um, uh, and you, you can make it in this. If you are making in this, and if you are closing it, I think... Uh, I wouldn't close it, I would just use the dish to put it on the top. So, because it doesn't take that long to do dumpling anyway. So, I want all the water a little bit to go away. couple of minutes, um, two or three minutes I think. I think uh, just do it until the water is a little bit dries out from mushrooms anyway. So after that what we are going to do, we are going to put our spices and um, um, So I am putting 
putting jalapenos. I am putting the chili garlic paste and I'm putting soy sauce. And then, once you store everything, I think that you are putting your cabbage because cabbage does not take, does not take that long to cook. So you are putting your cabbage. So approximately you are sauteing uh, the green onion and uh, mushroom for 8 minutes all together. So 3 minutes for onions roughly. Um, and um, I am putting the tofu in 5 minutes for approximately for the mushroom. And if you really, you can test it, if you need salt, you can put a little bit salt if you need to. So, you know, I'm using the 50% less salt kind of, you know, this is the salt I'm using in all my cooking nowadays anyway. So, I'm putting just a little bit salt. done pretty much you just stir and you mix everything and uh, this is my mixture and now I'm going to bring my boiler in and this bamboo thing I have seen, seen at Marshall I have seen at uh, really a lot of places so if you want to buy it i don't think it's hard to find and i already made the mixture ready for you so we don't have to wait to cool down so these are my wrappers it looks like this and i'm putting the towel because if i don't want to dry out so now i'm going to make the dumpling so what i'm doing is i'm putting it in like this and i'm using the water you can see it's right here uh, you can put water first or water after putting the dumpling you know um, Make sure you press it hard so it stays, you know, very, very good. And then what you do, you are just really, you are kind of just attaching it. So it looks like this. And really, if you are comfortable, you can really um, put even water before even. That's what I do. So put water on all the edges. And whatever your comfort zone are, like you can put a little bit or you can put more. Um, so you are putting the filling in. And you are pressing everything. And then you are putting a little water here, little water there. And this is the way it looks. I think putting water uh, uh, first helps a lot. So. Um, 
you could dress it if you really, what I mean. Even if you have a hard time, you can just make it like this too. That's what I do sometimes. And, and if you want to just do it like this, you can do it like this too. So, I'm going to make probably a couple more to show you. And then we're going to start boiling. You can um, put it for almost zero when it's done in the pressure, what I mean when it's done boiling. I think you can see the change of the color. Um, so. so really, yeah. So, I think let's start boiling in a little bit. Uh, so this is the water is boiling. I already put it, and um, we're putting it right here. And make sure you press all the sides so it doesn't come out, you know. Um, so you can keep it until the color changes. It takes almost like I think three to four minutes. Then you will see the change of the color and change of really dumpling anyway. So um, my family loves dumpling and they truly, truly enjoy it a lot. My daughter loves dumpling and so does uh, my son, so we make dumplings a lot. So this is my recipe for dumpling and um, I think uh, I'll show you when it's done anyway. But um, yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, you can put in comment section and we will put the recipe on YouTube and we will try to post the recipe right away. So. In anything if you want to see in the future you let me know you know what what recipes you want to see my expertise are from unhealthy to healthy because i love healthy food I, even growing up i did the same thing so i just love to turn all the unhealthy recipes to healthy recipes and uh, then you can enjoy food and you can get healthier and what you eat that's what you become i mean from the level the food is the medicine and um, really the your kitchen is um, your health pretty much what you do in your kitchen that's what really that's what how you're going to feel because if you cook healthy recipes you are going to feel energetic all day you are going to feel good and this is a really all the ingredients inside is very very healthy green onion is so good for you so does tofu and uh, so does cabbage, you know, and so does mushroom, really. So all the healthy ingredients are there, and the wrapper is healthy too. It is very low in calories, so it's a kind of a low fat food, really. So let me show you what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna look like this within three minutes. So I think um, this is, Almost done. So you can see the change of the color, you know. This is the way it's going to look. And what 
we do, we usually eat uh, this uh, with, uh, we usually eat with this with a uh, little bit soy sauce. And if you like spicy, you can add a little bit like a chili paste if you want. And we stir. And um, we just dip it and we just eat it. So this is my recipe. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the support you guys are doing. And thank you to AJ for doing this healthy page. I truly appreciate him so much. And thank you for all the support and all the love. Thank you.